The fossils in my collection today look nothing like they did when they were first found. This series is a chance to look at the fossils before and after preparation and introduce you to my digital fossil collection that will feature many of the fossils that have been found on this channel. Well, I have gone and done what I've always wanted to do. I have found myself my bone. Typically, it's not very much of it. It's an entire row of vertebra starting up here. Each one of these is a vertebra. Uh, and there's a little rib here. Uh, they're sadly really not well preserved because there's only bits of them. Uh, but I, I can't leave my first ichthyosaur <laughs> remains on the beach, even in a giant block, which is, let's see, there's my hammer for scale, that big. Uh, and I'm at the furthest point of my walk. Bugger. But I'm excited, that's fucking cool. Excuse the language. But that's cool, there's an ichthyosaur spine. And here's the spine fully prepped. Uh, we have 15 vertebra here with one little displaced one over on this side. Uh, and obviously a sign where there would have been one there that's gone. Uh, we have this discoloration here, it's actually because it's not the rock, it's actually resin from the supporting backing that's on the other side. And the backing is there to support this uh, rock. This rock was a grey shales rock. Uh, and you can still see that it's got lots of little cracks in it and this is just how the grey shales work because they dry out, they crack, they split. Um, so it's just something you have to keep an eye on with the structure and integrity of this fossil. Um, the uh, matrix you can see is sat on top of another dark layer. That dark layer is this resin back support and it actually covers the original side of the fossil that I found. So when I found this it was just this row of vertebrae but they're all very flat and eroded away. Uh, and now um, it's been reverse prepped, so it's prepped from the other side of the rock uh, to get the curvature of these vertebra. Uh, but sadly it means that the original side is now buried underneath the, the resin. Uh, we've got a lovely little bellum knight just to give you a scale of how small these individual, bellum, uh, individual vertebra are. Uh, it's a beautiful little specimen, very proud. Uh, we've also got this lovely, uh, slight different coloration around the vertebra where we've got um, probably some slight nodularization um, so you know in the Yorkshire coast we get nodules uh, and this looks like the, there was a nodule of some description forming around these vertebra but didn't do a complete formation um, which is why we still got the grey shell so tightly uh, adhered in some places uh, we've got only a couple of ribs still in place these ones just here um, and then I'll even actually in situ they've come off uh, and we've got this other weird little bit here, which is probably a bit of a crustacean, just for an added bit of interest as well. Uh, incredibly pleased that uh, has come out so well. Uh, 3D scans are well worth looking at as well if you want to have a, have a peek and see what it looks like yourselves. Uh, so do check out the scan coming up next. So the recording, the surface scans have worked really well. Uh, you can see here uh, the ichthyosaur spine and a uh, nice bell knight on it. If you look at the other side, you'll see this is a bit wonky. I didn't bother scanning it because you, this layer goes all the way around. Uh, as you will see in the real fossil, there's resin, so there's actually not much there. But you can also see how high up that comes uh, relative to the actual fossil. So, uh, there's not a lot of matrix left here. Um, but we can see the spine has come out a treat. Uh, so this model is now available. Uh, please check the uh, links in the description to find out where it is. You can obviously print out your own.